Hello and welcome to the demonstration of database interaction in TIBCO Active Matrix Business Works using JDBC. We will create a JDBC connection resource, use JDBC palette activities to read and write to the database. We will also write the output to a text file. What preparation is needed? First, this demonstration is using Postgres SQL database, hence please ensure to have it installed. TIBCO BusySWorks currently packages drivers for Postgres and Microsoft SQL databases. Secondly, the SQL script to be used for creating this project is shipped with the Active Matrix BusinessWorks. Refer to the basic JDBC sample in palette, JDBC. Execute this script in the Postgres database. Let's get started with the action. Create a project in the BusinessWorks Studio and name it My JDBC. Retain the default selection of resources and folder names while creating. An empty process is created and opened. Before adding activities to the process, let's create the resource of JDBC connection. In the Project Explorer window, right-click on Resources, select Options New followed by JDBC connection. A dialog box is opened. Provide the input values such as resource folder, package name and resource name. Here I wish to create the connection resource in a package named tibco.jdbc.myjdbc. I will change the name of resource to Postgres JDBC Connection Resource. Click the Finish button. The JDBC Connection Resource is created and the configuration window opens up. Select the Postgres SQL database driver from the drop-down, then provide the actual database URL. When you select the database driver as Postgres, automatically a template database URL is populated. You can either edit this or paste the URL directly. Also provide the credential information username and password. You may define these as module properties for the application. Here I choose to provide values as literals. Optionally you can also configure maximum number of connections, login timeout etc. We will retain the default values for these fields in this example. Use the test connection this is quite useful as you don't have to wait until actually running your application to ensure the database configuration is successful. Success or failure message is displayed right in the configuration window so that you can correct the configuration before proceeding. Having completed the critical part of this project, let's proceed and add the activities to this process which will query and update the database. As a process starter activity, add timer to the process editor. Drag the timer activity from the general activities palette to the process editor or right click, select add activity option followed by general activities option and then click on activity timer. Next add the JDBC query activity from the JDBC palette. Create a transition from the timer activity to JDBC query activity. This activity is going to fire a SQL query to the order table. We want all the order IDs to be written to a text file as output. Hence we need a write file activity. Go ahead and add it to the process editor. Place it right after the JDBC query and connect the two using transition. Alright, now is database update time. Add a JDBC update activity to the process editor. Again we would like the output to be written to a text file hence add write file activity. Connect these by making transitions. Now we will configure all of the activities. Let's start with the JDBC query. Open the properties panel in the general tab select Postgres JDBC connection resource. In the statement tab, provide the select SQL statement you wish to execute. Here we will provide select star from order table. Using the execute query button you can immediately validate the SQL syntax and its result. SQL results tab lists the status of the query and you can actually see the data returned by this query here. Is this useful? Let's provide the list of order IDs as input to the write file activity. Open the general tab from properties panel of write file activity and specify a text file for writing output. Now open the input tab. We will use the for loop and concatenate function to print all order IDs with new line character. Note the type casting function to convert the order ID from number to string. Cool, now we want to update all the orders in the order table with description as new to complete. To achieve this, let's configure the JDBC update activity. Open the properties panel, in the general tab specify the Postgres JDBC connection resource. In the statement tab write the SQL statement. This statement will update the order description to complete for the order ID 143. The parameter value 143 will be passed from the module property.
Also add the parameter order ID to the SQL statement. Let's begin by creating a module property order ID. Double click on the module properties. In the configuration screen, click on the button new property. A new row is added to the properties table. Set the property name to order ID and data type to integer. The default value can also be set here. Let's set it to 143. Now open the properties panel of our process. Create a new property with name order ID and data type as integer. In the default column, choose the field value type as module property and then from the drop down select the order ID variable. Thus the value defined at the module level is made available to the process. Now it can also be provided to the assertivities defined within this process. In the properties panel of JDBC update activity, select the input tab. Here map the order ID listed in the left pane to that in the right pane. This way the value specified at the module level for property order ID is made available to the SQL statement defined in the JDBC update activity. We are done with the major work. Lastly, configure the second write file activity by specifying a text file name. I am going to use the same file so that the output of both JDBC activities can be validated at once. In the input tab specify the number of updated records count as the value of text content field. I have used a concatenate function to write a message along with the count. Let's run the application and validate the output. Click the debug configurations, console window prints the log messages, the message started BW application indicates success. Let's open the text file and validate this. And here it is. All the order IDs are listed, and the update message as well. Let's cross check by visiting the Postgres UI. And correct it is, the order description update is successful too. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching. For more content, please visit the Tibco documentation site docs.tibco.com and Tibor community.